Welcome back to Careful Boys, where we are very careful. Boys. <laughs> so fucking careful. Bart has an announcement. Yes. Ooh. It took us so fucking long. How long? We just restocked on our amphibious shorts for Bartle Brigade. I love I that. I finally get some. Bar -bar I know I'm getting Steve some, I'm getting Anthony some, Jody has some. He gave me like every yeah. single color. They're honestly the best shorts. Very they're much. very, they're very and comfy. Oh. It's been stuck at the ports. Like we had it already. It was stuck at the ports for like two months. Oh. No. Wow. They didn't let you just swim over there and be like, "Can I open the fucking cage?" No. The, the, the honestly, we we asked them that. Was it in Long Beach? Beach? Yeah. Because of COVID rules, like you can't even go to the container. You can't. They have like crazy rules. That's so. so they finally came dude. in. I'm super excited. We have them seven colors: black, vapor, all of this one's slim Give me. blue. I don't even know what color vapor is. Yeah, what it's is like that? A, a light, like cream looking color. Dude, Ooh, but the cool blue. thing is yeah, about those shorts. Cool. I wear, I wear it without underwear, and it's so soft. And I've been having a lot of boners from it. A lot. It's just yeah. like the fabric rubbing on your dick. So you just got pre cum all up on the inside. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and it's your... it's easy to wash. Oh, cool. Yeah. Can you help with your itchy asshole? <laughs> no, my butthole just itches when I don't. Oh. Okay. He's not pumped about it. You think that shipping shit is a little bit of a conspiracy, though? <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. Dude, we had Rick here. He was sitting here. He's like, I can see all the containers like out because he lives by the beach now. Because like all of our all of our China production as well, like all stopped. Like we we've had to resource all of our stuff for our clothing line and whatnot. So it's kind of like it's inefficient. Right? I watched um why that shit went down, and it all started with that ever 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 grande. All oh, right. Yeah. The, yeah I really? Mean, you know what? The, what is that? Tell them about it. Tell them so about remember it. during COVID, everyone was making memes about the fucking container that was stuck at the Panama Canal. Yeah. That big ass container yeah, ship, yeah, yeah. right? They backed up shit so hard because of that 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 whole fiasco. How long, how long did it take them to get that out of that position? It took like a week or some weird. Yeah, thing. but it it other now like ships had to make the decision that they're like, should we go around like the you know Africa or should we like what should we do? Do we wait? And then that fucked up a lot of shit. And then the ports on uh, on our end, they were backed up. I mean, uh, they, they didn't have enough staff to unload. Oh shit. Because the first, what, five months or something, right? There was no shipments coming in. Yeah. Because everyone was like, yeah, we don't need to. And then people were doing stay at home Amazon buying. Or like retailing. Yeah, that's yeah. something no one could have predicted that sales, like online home orders, are gonna go through the roof. It's you it's through the roof it. to the point where America's never seen any type of consumerism at this rate. Wow. So then, then they started putting in all the orders, right? So all of a sudden, just a rush of orders came to the ports, and then they didn't have enough people to fucking unload them. Yeah, it got crazy. Dude. It was so crazy, like a lot of our sweatpants, so it was like in the summertime, people were blowing through sweatpants like crazy because everyone's chilling at home now. Yeah. So we were expecting like a low amount of sales in like our sweats and fleece and joggers, but all of our sweatpants sold out like in July and shit. We're like, what the hell's happening? Like this, it was the craziest like sales patterns we've ever seen. Biden, Biden just announced that they're gonna keep the ports 24 seven now, finally. So they're unloading 24-7. Oh, they weren't 24-7? No. Oh. It was just regular, like, like work hours. What the fuck? I know, they should be. Right. It's a internet, it's a freaking port. And, and uh, maybe it's because I was, I definitely was trying to buy the shorts at one point. Uh, These guys? Yeah, I was oh, trying to buy it so much, the dude. pandemic, and it was like all sold out and yeah. stuff. Um, but I think it was also like right after you guys got in like, I don't know if it was like a New York fashion article or something. Oh, like Ben's that. Health. Men's health was yeah, that was it? Men's health? Yeah, we oh, guys yeah, got featured. So. Yeah, yeah, you guys were in men's Which health. Which fucking congratulations, yeah. man. Wow, that's I, I, shit. What's your problem? Yeah, I'm saying, dude. How did like, you know they were on men's health? It was like fucking what, like top like uh, fitness or yeah. or at home workout because you know that was a huge thing. Like you said, like during the pandemic, there was like a fucking unprecedented rise in like at home workout slash uh athleisure type of yeah, like yeah. stuff. Yeah. So then they did this article on like uh, maybe like ten top. Nation fucking like workout shorts or some shit and Barbara Brigade's uh, amphibious shorts was uh, on there. Also. We're in there wow. with Nike and Lululemon. That's, That's what I'm cool. saying. It was crazy. Yeah. Okay. The shorts are good, man. I, I, I can do it. Buy and sold out. Yo, oh, that's FOMO. crazy. Yeah. You went from fucking printing out T-shirts from that one dude. To the 
<laughs> to like yeah. now getting your own shorts right next to Nike and That's shit. Cool. Yeah, we, it took us nine months to develop these bad boys. So nine, nine months? Nine months. Yeah, go to barbellbrigade.com. We'll put a link in the description below. But yeah, it took us yeah what, go, why, does it usually take that long? Or is it because like you have a small operation? These are very unique. That's also really, really good fabric. Yeah. Like yeah, the, uh, right. the actual material. So like you probably had to go through like hella sources. What kind of sheep right do stuff. you fucking have to shave to get that shit? Yeah. A fucking <laughs> cheetah, dude. <laughs> fucking cheetah. <laughs> now, so like our design process, so I'm like a shorts connoisseur. Like I have, if you go to my house, I have a shit ton. So I took like all my favorite pairs of shorts and we pretty much like cut them all up, circled all the things that we liked and we Frankenstein something out of like 10 different brands that we liked. And then from that, you get the first uh, prototype, right? So you send the, the, what they call like a tech pack in and then they send you a prototype. And then from there, we start making other like adjustments because, you know, depending on the fabric, it could be the same pattern, but if it's fleece or corduroy or whatever, it'll sit differently. Mm -hmm. So we would uh, do another revision, another revision, another revision. And then even with, when they dye it, even the dye can change the, how a fabric sits. I don't know if you guys ever yeah. noticed, but like, let's say you have a black t-shirt. Of course I noticed. And a white yeah, t-shirt, really? <laughs> Oh, I, don't know. I, did, I, did, I didn't notice, so yeah, I'm really interested to hear. Same brand, a black t-shirt will fit, fit differently than a white t-shirt. The, even the dye, like, it, it, uh, it changes how things fit. So we had to custom uh, choose dyes, go back and forth a bunch, and then so finally, once we get like a sample that we're 100% on, then they're able to just make them. Wow. Did you also put into the design to help your bulge? Because I feel like it makes my bulge look- It's very favorable. Bulge support. Does it? Yeah. Bulge support. It's very and favorable. Like I said, man, it like rubs against my dick and makes me really I hard. I didn't do that, but we have an internal apparel. <laughs> I didn't do that personally. <laughs> our, but our internal apparel designer is a pervert. Oh, okay. So she might have put that oh. in there. Oh. Shout out to, to her. Be fair, to be yeah. fair, like women like wear push-up bras and things that amplify, you know, the cleavage and like the sexuality of things. Not and enough in my opinion. <laughs> hey, come on. All, all I'm saying is like I'm Men should do it too. I, I'm a fan yeah. of when that happens. Therefore, if you know, we want to be respectful and like do the same for you know our women counterparts. I really think that you know the right All clothes should help you should look fucking emphasize. Yeah. Dude, just put a mag light in there. What are you talking about? You know what? Though? That's so nineties of you. Roll the quarters, baby. Mm. I wish it was uh, the material is a little thicker because sometimes when I go pee, I forget to like shake and then i put the shorts back on and then all that that's because you're not piss. wearing underwear dog <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. like well, double duty shake that underwear. shit wear some underwear you'd be fine and we wanted it to be thinner so people could swim in them and stuff i like so yeah dude that's one of my favorite things is because it <laughs> you can swim in them i have to get some now you know dude, it dries fast i take that's all i take to hawaii i just bring two two shorts that should last me a month yeah look at the pockets <laughs> sorry no it doesn't <laughs> <laughs> you can make it mesh so that the shorts, uh, the pockets dry faster yeah. too. No, because I wear one and then I swim and when I get out, I put on the dry ones and then the wet ones, they're already done by the end of the day, they're dry. Yeah. I could just, just keep never rotating. Wash no. just never wash. You just wash them in the ocean. This is good advice from the most disgusting person. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, but then after I go in the ocean, I have to do the outdoor shower because yeah, that takes good. all the pee out. Yeah, 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 so true. Because you're peeing in the ocean most of the time. And on those. If you're peeing, if you're peeing in the ocean, do you hike up one side and like pee like, through the lake, or you just pee directly into the shore? Depends if there's kids or not. What's, right. the, what's the difference? Kids. If there are kids, then for sure urine's out. <laughs> yeah. The kids in the ocean. No, because if there's people around, they're gonna dive and see my dick, right? Oh. So I can't be there like Everybody's fucking going like right this now, and just bro. like that. I can't do that. Face the horizon, nobody can see your dick. Boom. If there's people, I go inside, and then as I swim, I do one of these things. And then I air it out, I, I mean, I water it out, right? Water it out. Yeah. If I pee in the ocean, I do it while I'm like in motion, while I'm swimming farther out. That's so hard. Let it go. You pee and swim at the same time? That's yeah, pretty yeah, you're just kind of trying. I'm not swimming like an Olympic swimmer. Yeah. Like, I'm just getting there's motion so, versus pain. versus being that one dude who's just kind of standing there by themselves. That dude. <laughs> that's me. No, that's my stance. Is my stance is like, oh, that guy's definitely just peeing. In there. Yeah, I, I always see that and I'm like, what am I not gonna do, dude? I'm always what pretending to look off, but I'm really like. Peeing. I go like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, oh, what's that? out there? Oh, oh yeah. 
And, and then when I'm done peeing top. in the water, I still shake a little bit. <laughs> that guy's finishing. I'm taking my phone out there to pretend like I'm like vlogging or some shit, and you're like talking to yourself. You're like, hey, yeah, yeah. What are you, really, you're just peeing. Yeah. Oh, that's a good move. You guys right. are deceptive. Because then people start looking up when really down is what's happening. Oh, that's smart. When you're doing something like that, how do you guys? Because you have a big team. How do you guys just go? I didn't know you were gonna say team, but yes. I, I, I would only talk about him having a big team. The only thing about him that's big is his team. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah. Today's video is brought to you by Feels, all right? CBD is not about what you feel, it's about what you do not feel, such as anxiety, stress, stress pain, ah, motherfucker, bitch, that hurts. And sometimes insomnia, you're like, oh man, I have to wake up at 5 a.m., what the hell? I gambled all night. <laughs> and I need to sleep. <laughs> yeah, like yesterday, we had an intense work meeting, right? We were collaborating, throwing ideas at each other, and you go home, you're so excited, like, ooh, I love the Just Kidding News where it's gonna go next year. Oh yeah. And then you can't sleep. So stimulating. But we're like, we gotta film today, so how do we chill out? Feels, doo -doo -doo, right underneath the tongue. Mm-hmm, and it's that simple to do. You just put a few drops, and then you have your unwinding nighttime routine you know you just relax me i like to play the skin flute of myself oh plays the best tunes yeah i just go and then i go to sleep and that's like my pretty cool routine i feel pretty good but maybe for you you might be too intimidated and you're like i don't know i don't know anything about a cbd i don't know what to do well Good for you because Fields has a hotline you could call it and be like, check this out. I'm a little scared. I don't know how much to use here. What do you recommend? And they will help you out through the whole process so you can have a great sleep experience or whatever you're trying to do and accomplish with your CBD experience. So yeah, if you want to feel a little bit of chill, Take some CBD, some feels, play the skin flute or the pink turntable. That's up to you. But go to feels.com slash off the record to get a sick old deal. 50% off your first order and free shipping. That's 50% off your first order with free shipping. Go to feels, that's F-E-A-L-S dot com slash off the record to get 50% off and free shipping. Uh, no, but how do you guys go like, okay, this is done, it's finally finished, or like, how do you refine that? We actually don't know. So this is our, what we call our Mark IIs. Um, well, our first one, uh, we thought that was perfected, and because we tested all different ways, all kinds of different training methods, like lifting, swimming, running, whatever, and then one big problem that we had was uh, when you put something heavy in the pocket, like we tested like Comes keys and stuff. Yeah, like it'll come out the bottom. Like a lot of shorts. Mm. Yeah, I have that, yeah. And uh, we're like, oh shit. So we shortened and tapered the pocket by like two inches. And then one of the other problems that we had was uh, the drawstring and laundry would pull out. Yep. Oh, yeah, I hate yeah. that. So hate we that. fixed those. And then now after another year of having the Mark IIs, we're like, okay. I think That's right. The first version of the shorts you gave me, I told you that, that it happened. And yeah. I lost the string. Boom. Yeah. New York mag right there. Oh, Let's go, you. dude. Boom. <laughs> Amphibious shorts, Mark II, New York mag uh, in top 10 shorts. Who's wearing Nike, it? Nike, 10,000 Lululemon, oh, all these motherfucking you. shorts, right? Road, Roan or whatever. Fabletics, and then we got fucking Barbell, barbell Brigade, yeah. dude. Make These it, are very good it, shorts. I don't feel I like I'm a good it. friend because I'm not wearing Bart shorts right now. I'm wearing Matt Vincent's. Well, you're wearing my friend's shorts. That's cool, too. But those shorts are actually really good, too. They're so good. I like those shorts. That I think Barbell should steal this. <laughs> <laughs> For version three. I almost got that same pair, dude. No, shout outs to Matt Vincent. He makes great shorts, too. His shorts are really good. I just want it to match today. All right, here, just so everyone else can see. There it is. <laughs> That's the best shorts. Really? Dude, I ate that shit the other day. <laughs> it was good. You know really? what fucking sucks, dude? So like, I think like my brain is kind of like you're talking about do uh, Mr. Was it Dr. Je Dr. Hyde Jekyll who? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dr. Yeah, Jekyll yeah. who yeah. fucked that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> where, you have, where you have multiple personalities, right? So there's a side of me that like is super into like training and there's a side of me that likes to be in like what I call fuck fuck town. And oh, I was like, I was like, how dope? Tuck, tuck, <laughs> like, cause we're coming out with new patterns, right? I'm like, how dope would it be if I made the COVID-19 shorts? <laughs> so all of them, it's just a repeated pattern of like the little virus all over the place. But then I'm like, fuck, is it not good when the two worlds collide? <laughs> cause then people are like, are you trying to profit off of them? I'm like, no, I'm just trying to make funny shorts. I think I've seen COVID-19 
t-shirts where it's the fucking like, like the virus yeah like virus or like whatever yeah. yeah or when people give you shit about the virus just be like it's not the covid virus it's a different virus yeah that's this is delta this is, these are the yeah, delta different ones. dude the variant shorts <laughs> yeah. Yeah. oh, oh that, that's kind of cool mark three. so no matter how much they change it's still a variant yeah. mark three dude oh, no. but that's i'll probably get in good. trouble huh if i came out with no if you call it the variant i think it's cool because that's like it's like a half step towards it, but yeah. it's like you're so clear. It's f amphibious, dude. But if you, you know call it mean? the COVID shorts, but the low, but the pattern is gonna be a little viruses all the way across. I think that's already there's already yeah. clothes like. That. Oh really? Yeah. Under a microscope, oh. dude. It's I, all the I same. I swear to God, I've seen it at Hot Topic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, those are Hot COVID Topic shorts. Shirt. I don't know. You want to be the first one on the market with that? No, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> right now, it's 64. How much? Would, how much would you say uh, in terms of like barbell brigades, man? Because like. Obviously, from an outsider, when I look at Barbell Gate, I obviously think about the gym. I obviously think about uh, apparel and clothing. And then I also think about things like your protein and your pre-workout and stuff like that. Is there another sector that I'm not thinking about outside of like content creation and stuff like that? No, Eight that's seconds. it. Okay, so out of those, <laughs> what would you actually say is like the, the true kind of bread and butter that like lets that brand kind of survive, if you will? The true bread and butter? I would say it's actually probably the content first. Mm. Like oh, the because training. of that? Yeah, because that's like both the marketing and also the thing that like continues to bring in. And I think that's what people uh, connect with the brand where I think uh, the brand, we feel like it's we, like, we all like to train hardcore, but then we're pretty down to earth and we all fuck around. So all of our content is a little bit different than like the rest of the fitness. Let me rephrase just for fun. What makes y'all the most money? <laughs> oh, makes the most money? Apparel. Fuck, that's close. But if we did it right, it should be supplements. Mm. Why, oh. is Why is it fuck fuck town in your head? What's up with that? <laughs> oh, fuck fuck town? Yeah. That's where I like to party. Well, why isn't it fuck city, which is a porno? Oh. oh. A dame to come for? Oh my god. Wait, that's a parody. That's the oh, parody. Sin City. Of the, Sin City. Yeah. yeah. Sin City. Yeah, yeah, fuck City's uh, pretty good, dude. City. Maybe Fuck Fuck City in your head, man. Fuck, fuck, nah, it's Fuck Fuck Town. Man. Fuck Fuck Town. Yeah. Tuck Tuck Punch All. Fuck Fuck Town is when like, I I know I'm in the right area to fuck around. when I do something and I'm kind of scared of what's going to happen after I post something. I see. Or if it comes out of my mouth. I'm kind of scared of the repercussions, but I like that danger. <laughs> you should just create a store called Fuck Fuck Town that's separate, and yeah. you get to do whatever you want, like, I don't know, like a store. But it's like, you got COVID shorts, you got... <laughs> yeah. You also have vaccine shorts as well to have both You're probably gonna also yeah, need yeah, some yeah, fuck fuck yeah. money to like do that with, because... Yeah, that's true. Kind of a fuck fuck idea, you, you know? Should, <laughs> yeah, you could have the, the COVID apparel, like, you could have a t-shirt that's like Pfizer, Moderna, fucking Johnson and Johnson. It's called, just it's, Johnson and Johnson it's, it's like all day. Threat. Like just whatever. a Johnson and Johnson yeah. all day shirt. Or like people could wear the vaccine that they got and shit, and they then they got that. the COVID oh, shirt. I've seen that. Oh, shit. Like I got Pfizer. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. Yeah, it's I like Nike, it's but like yeah, you're sponsored. Sponsored by Johnson and Johnson. I think you should take that. That's a good idea. He just gave you gold right now, and you're yeah. sitting sitting down, not even writing this down. Well, I'm thinking you about you like fiat dollar currency. Like, there might be a lot of like li licensing conflict. But if you change, what is it like, ten percent or something? I thought it was a parody law that yeah. you, can, you can do in fuck. Dude, Pfizer doesn't have merch. Dude, they got merch. <laughs> 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 merch. merch? No, I, I got the have Pfizer vaccine, those, bro. Yeah. I'd rock a Pfizer. Yeah, have hat. You seen the, they the, should have the, visors. Yeah. Oh, the oh, Pfizer visor. Pfizer, Pfizer, Pfizer. God, dude. I can't wait till the day that they have hooligans of like Moderna hooligans and fucking Johnson and Johnson and then they go on fighting shit. Straight up jer Anthony, Anthony, yeah. jerseys. What vaccine did you get? I got Pfizer. You got Pfizer? Okay, Pfizer, cool. Pfizer. So we're on the same team. We don't all right, all right. But we should get visors. Yeah. Yeah. Pfizer yeah. visors? We should have the non-vaxxers. And then also too, it's a visor with your Pfizer vaccine like on top. <laughs> and then the card in oh, the you back. Can, oh. So, so when Yo. the new law comes in, just be like, oh, this is your boy right here. <laughs> Where's your vax? Yes, I could eat at this restaurant, you bitch. Because ah. when, we were, when we were in Hawaii, it was kind of like, because they were asking everyone to show their vax card. Yeah. And like, I get it. Whatever you guys got to do what you got to do. But it is kind of a pain in the ass to be like, oh, fuck, and to have everything out. But this way, like, you have, <laughs> you you rep your hood, yep. which is your vaccine. And you go like that. And then you flip it around, and then you have your card right there laminated. I love it. Where's your condition. card, dude? My wife has it. <laughs> Johnson & Johnson should do like stuff like shorts too, where it's like your card's like by your dick, so it's like Johnson & Johnson. Oh, Johnson. Johnson. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, that's, Johnson. that's just good marketing. Or like, it's like, like it's, just, it's just one time, because you only need it one time. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
One time. But then it's like a maybe, shot. a maybe yeah, on the shot. back, like maybe it works. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> one time. One yeah. hit or quitter. You get, a yeah. you get a booster t-shirt. They're loving their, they're loving their Pfizer merch, dude. This is yeah, whack, bro. Don't the fact that, that they don't have a visor, I think is so stupid. <laughs> they need to come up with a visor. Low key, a Pfizer dad hat will be pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> like the shirt is yeah, kind of yeah. whack, but the 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 dad hat. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I can't believe they have Pfizer merch or a Pfizer fanny. Maybe it's for like um, employee park day or something, you know? Or like one of those like little <laughs> Pfizer balls you could put on a car antenna. Oh yeah, oh. that'd be cool. They don't do those anymore, yeah. huh? The Jack in the Box was the best one hands down all time. Do cars even have car antennas anymore like that? No, they're all short now. Yeah, they're all like oh, little chubs. Oh, right. I don't have an antenna. Yeah, or it's like all like in your uh, window or something. Yeah, like dude. Window, uh, and nobody listens to the fucking the radio. We gotta get the Pfizer gang, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> that's too cheesy, bro. <laughs> dude, they got COVID merch, man. Do they have non-vaxxer merch? Too? Okay, this is what they need. I <laughs> guarantee you they got non-vaxxer sure they have non You guys gotta do a barbell, do a barbell brigade collab oh, with your favorite vaccine provider. <laughs> You gotta get all of it. I think you gotta get all the vaccines. Dude, that was my well, fucking well, idea well, right there. And Johnson and Johnson. Yeah, you don't have enough of them. And then you need to have the COVID shorts. And AstraZeneca. Yeah. I wonder if like this is like her big break as a modeling career. Yeah, oh my yeah. god, I know, right? You know what that looks like? It looks like a stock photo that they just fucking photoshopped text on. Yeah. But you know, they, they worked extra hard to make the text like assimilate to the yeah. fold of her shirt. So Give I, her a boob wrinkle. Yeah. I think they maybe the just actually photo. printed it because it's a. Uh, you know those uh, stock photos for like, like random clothing, like Target underwear or whatever. Yeah. Next to the barbell office, there's a, a photo studio, and I think that's where they shoot all that stuff. No way. Because they just have random models coming in, and then whatever they're shooting, it's always it's like the same pose, like oh buy this inner tube for the pool, like it's always like that. Just generic. That must models. be a sweet gig, dude. I and they're much in and out that. fucking fast. Like the models that know how to hit their looks. Yeah. They're fucking. They hit. They gotta like, practice that. I did find the opposite side shirt. What is it? This, this girl gold. runs on Jesus and Bud Light. Bud Light line. <laughs> Bud Light line. <laughs> That's tight. <laughs> that girl didn't get back. Yeah. yeah. No. 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 She don't believe in yeah, vaccines. I think I saw a model wearing that shirt exactly next door. <laughs> <laughs> Powerful this shirt powerful concept. Thing. Like whoever really thought about Jesus that. Like, Bud Light Lime. That's the best of both worlds. I right? think Bud Light Lime is strong. That's a strong position. That is. <laughs>